Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new Blu-ray hunt. Yes, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Bank holiday Monday I was working and I couldn't go out Blu-ray hunting. But we are here today at Blue Water. I've even wore a blue shirt with lots of splashes of water. It's not really, I think it's leaves. I think it's kind of like an autumn shirt, but uh, it'll do anyway. Um, I've already noticed that the grass is starting to get a little bit greener, which is a good thing. Oh yes, baby. Right, okay. Um, what are we doing today? Right, we're at Blue Water. We will be going a few other places to infinity and beyond. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> um, I do have a little list, so I shall put you into the lovely receiver position and we can take a look at this week's stash. Okay, so yes, the biggie, ooh, uh, the biggie that's out this week is Lightyear. That's right, I'm really buzzing for this one. Oh, come on. <laughs> ooh, come on. oh dear me, yes. Uh, we have the Blu ray, ba -da -ba -da -ba. we have all, oh, by the way, the Blu ray is in a slim case with no slipcover. Cheapskate, and a boring Blu ray disc, just a blue disc. Oh, we're getting shortchanged by Disney now. Yes, uh, but uh, it'll probably be released later on with one of those new retro slips. Anyway, we have the 4K. Oh, oh my God, look at the art on that. Oh, oh, that looks beautiful. Comes with a slip cover. And there's also a Zavi exclusive steelbook, which has already shipped and should be delivered. Oh, God knows, sometime this week. Bloody bank holidays. And strikes. We had a blinding Royal Mail strike. And we got another strike tomorrow. A Royal Mail strike tomorrow. And we have a, a, a Royal Mail strike for two days next week. We're not going to get any movies, are we, people? No. It's not very, not very good. Uh, what else have we got? We have Drive 4K. Who's going to drive you home? Well, I am, actually. <laughs> yes, we have Drive on 4K from 88 Films. We also have the outfit. Yes, just like this outfit. Uh, with Mark Rylance. Uh, that looks really good. I saw the trailer for that one. That's on 4K. Uh, we also have a couple of second sides. Yes. We have The Mummy and Frankenstein. It's got another bit of a title, but I can't remember it. Oh, lovely leaf just fell on my windscreen. <laughs> we also have Good Guys Wear Black. I thought bad guys wear black and good guys wear white. That's what I was always taught. Anyway, uh, we have one of those posh knob ones, uh, the Criterions. <laughs> it's called the Big Chill. <laughs> yes, uh, ready for winter. Uh, we also have another 88 film called Killer's Moon. Okay. Uh, we have a Halloween Kills 4K steelbook. I think this is a Zavi exclusive one. Um, we also have from Network the Sandwich Man. Yes, that's someone that comes around with sandwiches and rolls. Yeah. Uh, and also, please, sir. Yeah, I remember watching the TV series of that when I was young. Very good. Yeah, I think this is like the movie version of it or a spin off. Um, All My Friends Hate Me. There's a film out today called, for this week, called All My Friends Hate Me. <laughs> BFI. Uh, we also have one of those movies or mubbies or whatever you want to call it. I think it's a movie. It's called Benedetta. Yeah. Uh, Sister of Vendetta, I think. <laughs> and we also have another network called Conga, which kind of looks like Kong. Is it? I don't know much about this. Is it like a ripoff of Kong? I, I take it it's a ripoff of Kong. Anyway, that's today's. Well, I keep saying today, but hang on. That's better. I keep saying today, but it's Tuesday, so it's yesterday. So I'll just say this week's. It's this week's deliveries. No, it's not. It's this week's. Get it right, Paul. <laughs> it's this week's releases. I'm so eager to get in Blue Water to HMV to look at the lovely physical media. Yes, we're not going to drag this on too long. Um, okay, so let's go. Let's get in there. I've got me... I've got my bag for some pickups. We'll have a look at the sale items as well and any other shit that's in there. And um, hopefully we'll pick up some lovely bits and pieces. Yes. What was I going to say? Um, 
Oh yeah, this uh, this actual Blu-ray hunt is light years ahead of everyone else. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh God, let's go hunting. I guarantee by about 12 o'clock, that'd be totally full up. Yeah, I'll give myself probably about an hour, an hour and a quarter, and then the swarms come. Yeah, it's like locust season at Blue Water. Anyway, let's get in there. Let's go and have a look, see if we've got some running water first. <laughs> the thing about sitting in a car for about an hour to get here, your legs stop working. So you've got to get them working to get in to do some Blu-ray hunting. So a bit of a stroll towards the entrance is always good. Oh, I never noticed that before. I know we've got a little golf course here, but I never noticed these off-road little cars, little kind of like little Jeeps. Yeah, I never noticed that, that's neat. Yes, still nothing in the Disney store. I tell you what, though, what would really go well there? How about a Forbidden Planet? Please? Okay, so we're here at HMV. Let's pop in and let's go and have a look at this week's new releases. Oh yes, baby. And I think we've got a light year little standee here with socks. Own it on 4K, Blu-ray and DVD. Okay, so first thing I'm seeing is Lightyear on Blu-ray. Unfortunately, the box is empty. Yeah, they don't want it nicked out the door. Uh, we also have a Lightyear on 4K. Love that artwork. It's also empty, so they'll have to get it behind the counter. But yeah, I love the artwork on that one. What else have we got in here then? We've got the Batman there. We have, what's this called? Summer Slam 92 on Blu-ray. Very nice, £12.99. Don't think I'll pick that up though. Uh, we also have uh, The Outlaws from Stephen Merchant. I think this is a series. Not watched it, but could be good. Down here, we've got some He-Man and what She-Ra, or sh whatever her name is. Uh, and we also have the movie. Yes, we have Bene Benedetta. Oh, yes, uh, £14.99. Um, I, I don't know if I'll buy that. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, the Def Leppard Hysteria album. I think this is the vinyl. It's a coloured vinyl and a limited edition as well. So that's pretty good for nearly 40 quid. Christ, I bought it for about five pounds originally back in the day. Uh, over here on the 4Ks, we have not that drive. Paul put that one back. <laughs> uh, we also have the outfit on 4K with a slip cover. Very nice. £19.99. I should be picking this one up today, I think. Let's just put it back there for show. And we also have the big chill. This is the criterion of the week. £22.99. I've heard of the film. I've not watched it, though. And down here on the BFI section, we have All My Friends Hate Me. Yes, all those shadows look. Oh, yes, the shadows. Hank Marvin and his shadows. £15.99 on the BFI label. And here is Killer's Moon. Uh, this is on the 88 uh, Films label. And this is £14.99. They do like putting all this killing movies yeah uh, we also have police sir uh, on the network label 14 pound 99 as well based off the uh, the tv show let's put that back and here is the other network one uh, the sandwich man yeah cheese and onion uh, or prawn and mayonnaise i don't know let's just put that back for now on the sale section or the big sale section we have young sheldon for 10.99 never seen it uh, what else have we got? We have the Batman, uh, Spider-Man, Fuff Batman. Yeah, Far From Home 3D Steelbook. We have Guns of Navarone, uh, £11.99 on the 4K, and also Pacific Rim Uprising for £10.99. Here we have a few sale items, including the seven movie Conjuring series. Uh, this is like, down to £24.99, so that's pretty good. Uh, we have the Discovery of Witches, £22.99, and Escape Room 2, down to £5.99. That's also really good. Haven't seen the first film yet, though. I've got it. Have I got it? I can't remember. On the DVD premieres, we have... He's a man-eater. Yes, we have a new shark movie for £7.99p. Gobble up all those swimmers. <laughs> and we have Captive. Yes, uh, she's got a bit of tape over her mouth. Yeah, obviously too yappy. Uh, plus, we also have the voices. I can't tell if she's having a shit or she's having a bath. Uh, this looks very nice. It's a Cobra Kai notebook. It's really heavy because this Cobra Kai 
emblem is actually metal. I think it might be brass or something, but it's really heavy and it's all embossed and it looks really nice. Good quality. Yeah, but too heavy to, to write in, I think. So let's put that back. Uh, we also have a swan song. This is, um, I could only find this on DVD, even though there is a Blu-ray available. It's only got DVD in here. Okay, so let's go and have a look in our next stop, Menkind. Let's go and have a look, see if we can find something different in there. And someone said they don't like the look of my helmet. Okay, so in Menkind, we've got a couple of pop vinyl figures, including some Lightyear. Yes, we have Buzz Lightyear there in his little space outfit. Very good. And we also have Vigilante from The Peacemaker. Fantastic show. Yeah, and we have some tiny hands. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, dear me. Now, we have a speak and spell. Who remembers that? And you can play the piano while you take a dump. Very nice. This is what I had during the heat wave. Yep. And, uh, wow. Exactly. Okay, time to go in sweets from heaven. See if they've got some bits to pick up at extortionate prices. Okay, they do have some drinks, including some A&W root beer. Very nice. That's the original can. And uh, we also have some cream soda as well and uh, zero sugar. We also have some uh, Dr. Pepper flavours as well. I do love Dr. Pepper. Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> and up the top here, uh, we have some uh, cereals, but no Fruit Loops. Okay, starting to get really busy now, so let's go back to the car. Okay, people, yes, it's the end of August and they have Christmas cards. Yeah, don't fight it. You know it's coming. You can't deny it. Yes, Christmas is coming. Oh, man, that's getting hot out there again now. Oh, blimey. That must be about, oh, what, 25? Maybe 25 or 27 centigrade. That sun is burning. Anyway, in the car, as you can see, uh, I have had the air conditioning on. I kind of might put it on low now because I know it distorts and makes a lot of unnecessary sound. Um, we're done in HMV. I picked up three things. Oh, yes. Um, a few things from the list they didn't have. They've either sold or they didn't get them in. Um, where did we go? We went to Menkind. I wasn't going to walk around there because I'd only been in there like half an hour and it was swarming. It was swarming. So I think most people aim to get here for about midday as they're open until nine. The restaurants are totally full already and it's only five to twelve. So uh, all those um, all those videos I see of abandoned malls in America, I don't get that. I don't get why all these American malls are abandoned and the shops are abandoned. Here, bloody hell, it is absolutely swarming. And it's not even a special occasion. You know, it's not Christmas or Halloween. Although we did see some Christmas cards in the card shop. So uh, next time we come up here, we'll probably see the Christmas shop itself with all the lovely sparklies in the Christmas uh, Christmas tree. Yeah, well, I don't get why I keep seeing videos of abandoned malls in America. Surely not every mall in America is abandoned. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, maybe it's just the that type of video that I keep clicking on. Uh, but uh, I don't know of any abandoned like malls that don't fill up with people in the UK. I'm, I'm pretty sure most malls do. Um, so yeah, it's not all online shopping. Okay, so I did pick up three things from HMV. I went into the American Sweet Shop. Unfortunately, they sold out of Fruit Loops. I wanted to get a box of Fruit Loops. Uh, I did pick up two things though. I picked up my Baby Ruth, which is my favorite American chocolate bar of all time. Very nice. And also picked up a can of A&W root beer. Uh, this is zero sugar. They did have the regular one, which is the original and is still the best, but this is really close. F from the frequency that I have root beer, I can't really tell the difference. Yeah, but uh, this is lovely. This is lovely. 
I love root beer. I always have loved root beer. I know it's not for everybody, and uh, a lot of people say it tastes like mouthwash or <laughs> or aniseed or stuff like that. But yeah, it's my my favourite my favourite drink of all time is is root beer. Oh, and a root beer ice cream float. You've not lived until you've had one of those. Fantastic. Okay, so we are done here at Blue Water. Let's get on the road. Let's get back to Canterbury. It's gonna be probably about an half an hour, 45 minute journey. Uh, and we'll go straight to the big green sign that says, Asda. Yes, we'll go and have a look. It is Tuesday, which means don't have to wait for people to put anything up on the shelves. It should all be there already. Oh, and I need to pick up one of those Airwick essential mists for the toilet. Yes, keep the smells down. <laughs> Dad, not me. <laughs> okay, let's go to Canterbury. Uh, okay, so we are down here at Canterbury. Yes, just got down here. It's a little bit different. I don't know if you, you can't really see. There you go. Yeah, it was really bright sunshine and blue skies at Blue Water. And it was about like 25 to 27. Down here, it's cloudy and 21 degrees with a bit of wind. And that's not me. <laughs> So it's a little bit cooler down there, which is good. Yeah, I suppose because you get into blue water, you're getting closer to London. So you're getting all the non sea air and all that kind of shit. Anyway, let's go in there. I want to have a little chat about something in a minute uh, when we come out of uh, Asda. Asda! Right, let's get in there then. It's Tuesday. I really don't believe we've half got empty shelves. I mean, we got a light year on DVD, but look, empty shelves. It's Tuesday, for heaven's sake. What's the matter with you, Asda? We do have this captive, and we also have Wrong Place with Bruce Willis on DVD, so at least someone's put some shit out. But other than that, lots of bare places, and a woman needs to hurry up. Oh, this is very nice. This Back to the Future glass here, £9.99. Very nice. Uh, we also have a uh, Jurassic Park one next to it. Quite heavy as well. I mean, what is the point? It's Tuesday. How can you be so lazy? They obviously didn't bother putting things out on a bank holiday Monday like every other shop does. I cannot believe they are only putting things out now on a Tuesday. <sighs> These little glasses here are very nice. I just stumbled on some Disney glasses. Really nice. And we have, uh, yeah, look. Was it Follow the Stars? And we have Tigger and all that lot there. Uh, we've got some poo. <laughs> yeah, we've got poo in a glass there for 75p. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, what else have we got? And uh, we have um, Dumbo. That's Dumbo, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and also some Christmas shit there, I think. Uh, but all these glasses are very nice. Yeah. Cheap as well. Okay, so I need to get one of these. That's the little machine that I've got. So I just need a refill. So it's going to be like these. I think they're about £7 on Amazon. I can't remember the last one I had. This one is, what is this one? Peony and Jasmine. That's lavender. I don't think we've had a lavender before. There's usually a few more, but maybe they're the only ones. Okay, so we do have some more here. So we've got apple and cinnamon, double pack. Apple crumble, I don't think that's the right one. Oh yes, it is, Airwick Essential Oils. And then we have, what's this one? That's the jasmine one. Uh, apple and cinnamon and the lavender. So it's going to be a cross between the apple and the lavender. Or the lavender and the apple and the cinnamon. Lasts up to 45 days. I think I might actually get this one. I haven't had this one yet. So it'd be nice sitting on the toilet smelling apples and cinnamon. <laughs> oh my God, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday and they're only just putting the media out. Obviously it's because we had a bank holiday yesterday, but 
But you'd think that they'd actually put the stuff out on the bank holiday. Can you imagine the uproar if we went to HMV and they didn't put stuff out on the, on the day of release? The world would collapse. We'd go into a worldwide meltdown. <laughs> oh, so yeah, we did get a good look at stuff in there. There is another Asda down Westwood Cross. I don't know whether or not it'll be the same. Um, from, from what I understand, the media is down there is really really low now so uh this as the here is the uh the most the most uh most physical media that there is that i know of any area so i don't know i don't know if to bother i don't really know if to bother we've got to look we got to look at two things anyway uh it's a shame though but uh it looks like they're moving all stuff around putting different prices on stuff um, but yeah, that's not very good. That's not very good, Asda. You need to buck up your ideas. Yeah. Right, okay, what? I did actually pick some stuff up, though. Um, I picked up... I picked up an Essentials Mist. Yes. Uh, spiced Apple and Cinnamon. Oh, yes. Very nice. I kind of get a smell, but um, I'll give that one a go. I don't think we've had that one before. Uh, I've got a couple of blue toilet blocks. Yep, so, so we get a nice fresh lemon smell and I, I, I take it, it turns the water yellow. <laughs> and because we've got an upstairs and a downstairs toilet, uh, I picked up a couple of these. So I picked up two blues uh, for the actual toilet bowl. We have, uh, it says here, when dry, juicy peach. Uh, and then after flush, sweet apple that's nice yes so we've got lots of apple cinnamon lemon and apple and cinnamon so that's good so I've, god knows what our house is going to be smelling <laughs> okay thank you so that's those okay so yeah i think we're done here i think we'll get on the road and we'll get down to westwood cross uh, i want to pop into smith's and have a look at a few bits and pieces in there maybe pick something up i am got my eye on one thing. We'll see. But yeah, let's get down to Westwood Cross. Um, before we go, I want to quickly have a little quick chat about this uh, big new American franchise, uh, the Yellowstone franchise, which started obviously with the Kevin Costner series. Stop doing that with your hands, Paul. Yes, Yellowstone. Um, which follows the family of the Duttons out in a, on, a, on a ranch and that. Uh, but it goes much deeper than that. Now, I've only just started on Yellowstone. I'm, I've only seen one episode. Now, the first, halfway through, or half an hour in, Dad fell asleep. No, Dad got bored, went to bed, uh, and I fell asleep. So it wasn't good. So I continued watching that episode. And I thought it was really good really got good by the end of the episode so i need to carry on i believe it's up to series four now and there's a fifth series coming um i'd already started on 1883 um which i only watched one episode and fell asleep because <laughs> that is the that one especially especially that one that one is a slow burn one uh, there is a bit of action in there, but it's interesting knowing these characters. But I watched another episode of 1883 last night; really enjoyed it. So I think I'm gonna, it's, I think I'm gonna keep with these se these series. Uh, but I've made it a point to watch the whole of 1883 first, then carry on watching Yellowstone. I know it probably doesn't really matter, you know, because uh, uh, 1883 is a prequel. But maybe it will give me a kind of a bit of a better understanding of the family and a understanding of the the relatives and uh, and stuff like that and how, how things progressed uh but there is another one coming what is it 1923 i think i think it was originally going to be called 1932 or something i think it's 1923 uh, and it's going to be starring harrison ford so it's going to be plugging that gap in the middle so yeah i'm really enjoying it at the moment uh, i don't think dad's going to bother i won't bother watching any of it with dad because he'll just fall asleep or go to bed uh but i'm going to stick with them kind of gives me vibes of a more gritty Dallas. <laughs> um, 
a couple of things. Um, I was really surprised how good Tim McGraw is in 1883. Now, I've been a fan of Tim McGraw since the early 90s, since he came onto the circuit. I've got every single one of his albums on CD. So it's probably going to be like 20 albums or maybe more. Uh, I've got all, all of Faith Hill's albums as well. Uh, I saw Tim uh, and Faith in concert at C2C a couple of years ago in London. I've already seen him live previously. Uh, so yeah, he's he's a, a massive, massive country country star. I mean, you're talking like Garth Brooks, Tim McGraw, you know, those type of levels. And he has been that way for a long time. So um, he has been in quite a few things, mainly low budget stuff and TV stuff before. Never really taken any notice of him so far as his acting is concerned. The same with Dwight Yoakam, who's a, a massive country singer as well. He's been in a few things. Uh, but Tim McGraw really surprised me in 1883. Really surprised me. I didn't think I would be that much impressed on his acting on this. This really brings the acting out. And uh, yeah, and Faith Hill as well. She was really good, you know, playing his wife. So um, I, I, at the end of this, I, I, am I going to be saying, yes, I can't wait to see the new... Tim McGraw movie or or will I be saying I can't wait to hear the new Tim McGraw album I don't know it's really weird yeah so I am sticking with it really enjoying both of them but I'm gonna do all of 1883 first and then carry on with Yellowstone um, I think there's only 10 episodes of 1883 I've done two I'm gonna do two a night I'm off for now until Saturday so I've, I can finish this series by the end of uh, by the end of the week Another thing, though, the thing that really bugs me is that I own Yellowstone on Blu-ray, uh, the first three seasons, but I'm not watching the Blu-rays. I'm streaming it on Paramount+. Plus. Now, that's a big problem because we t tend to fall into that kind of thing. It's like, you know, if you want to watch Breaking Bad or you want to watch something, do you go upstairs or do you go to your collection to get to dig out the collection or it's straight available for streaming do you just lounge out on the sofa stick on netflix or whatever it's on and just watch it yeah so i think we are getting we're getting a bit lazy when it comes to watching things um but at least I've got those in the collection, you know, so maybe one day if they are ever taken off of streaming, um, I, I don't know. You know, it's, it's the case of like Star Wars and Marvel. I can't see them ever coming off of, of Disney Plus because, you know, that's their property. Um, and I, I suppose Yellowstone and 1883 is Paramount's property, like Star Trek as well. So I can't see them ever coming off the platforms. So, yeah, well, I'll have them on backup on Blu-ray, but for convenience, it tends to be a matter of just put the streaming on using me Apple, Apple TV, you know, me Apple box, me Apple 4K box. We're getting lazy. Do you know what? We're turning into those thingies. Um, is it Wally at the end of Wally on board that ship uh, where they're all laying around on those beds? We're all turning into those. They knew what was going to happen in the future when it went to streaming. And that's what we're becoming. Yeah, well, I'm already there. <laughs> but uh, I can see the future. I can see the future. That's what's going to happen. Anyway, let's not talk anymore. Um, let's get on the road. Let's get down the Westwood Cross and let's go to Smith's Toys and have a look. And see if they've got maybe that one thing I want to pick up. Ooh. Okay, so we are down at our last stop of the day. Guess where we are? That's right, Smithy Toys. Yeah, Smiths really. Yeah, so uh, let's pop in there and uh, have a look, see what they've got.
Hmm, which one do I get? Hey, do I get the Razor Crest or do I get Slave One? Hmm, I don't know. Choices, do I get that one? Oh, should I get that one? I don't know. Okay, so we got a good look at some Lightyear stuff in there. Lots and lots of Lightyear toys, plus a few extra bits and pieces, a few Star Wars things. Uh, and as you saw there, the choice was, did I pick up Slave One or did I pick up the Razor's Edge? As you saw there, they had two of the items I was interested in, the Slave One ship and also the Razor Quest. As you saw there, there was two items that I was interested in. You had the Slave One and you also had the Razor Crest. But the question is, which one did I go for? Now the Razor Quest, oh. but which one did I go for? Now Slave One is such an iconic ship, we all know that. But the Razor Crest is Mandalorian. Um, even though it no longer exists, it's still iconic. So, choices. So, you'll have to wait until I get home to see which one I got. And uh, I might do an unboxing or I might do a special unboxing for whichever one I picked up. But anyway, I think we are done for the out and about again today. So, let's go home. I'll show you what I picked up today at HMV uh, and also uh, from Smith's Toys. And also anything that's been delivered now that we haven't got a postal strike today. So, hopefully there might be something on the doorstep. So, I'll see you at home. Okay, so we are back from Blu-ray hunting. If you hear a buzzing buzzing, it's not me trying to do Buzz Lightyear impressions again or any kind of crap like that. There's actually a fly stuck between the window and the blind. I've tried, I've lifted the blind up to try and get him out, but he's so insistent on sticking with that window. But he can't go out the window because I can't open it. <laughs> anyway, um, first of all, I didn't get my Lightyear Steelbook, Naughty Zavi. Yes, um, I know we've had a bank holiday and we've had Royal Mail strikes in between. So hopefully I'll get it tomorrow. Thursday at the latest, I hope. But uh, I did come home to a package. I came home to this. <sighs> yeah, uh, I'm going to open this because it's just pointless. Um, I ordered something from Amazon Germany. Uh middle of July and it got delivered and it was dented it was a steel book that got dented um so I asked for a replacement they sent me a replacement I received the replacement uh but and then I sent the damaged one back uh I sent actually I sent this back on What's the date on here? There's a date. 3rd of August. And it had to be back by about the middle of August. So, yes, I sent it back on the 3rd of August. Now, even though it was from Amazon Germany, uh, when I printed the label out, it wanted to go to Slovakia. So, I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it's their depot or something. So I'll put all my details on it, put a customs form on there, got a customs declaration on there as well. Uh, and I sent, I sent it uh, international tract as well, which cost £8 something. I followed the track in. Um, for some reason, it got to Slovakia, but then it com came back again. I don't know why. And it's arrived back today. Uh, and there's a little red sticker on it. Uh, and it says refuse. So wherever it went to the Amazon place in Slovakia, they refused it. Yeah, I don't know why. I have no idea why. Um, I have been in contact with Amazon Germany. Uh, because they did take the money from my account, for, you know, uh, because they didn't receive this back. But then I had a moan at them, so they recredited it. Um, and then they took the money again. So I had another moan at them. I actually spoke to somebody at Amazon Germany over the phone, but they were in London. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they apologised and everything. And they guaranteed that, yes, the money has been credited back. So that will be back in my account this week. But even though... 
the damaged one has arrived. So this has been around the world a bit. Being around the world and hey, 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 hey. Yeah, so this has gone to, sl gone to uh, sorry, I'm drunk. This has gone to Slovakia and it's come back again. All in the, what is it, uh, 3rd of August. Almost a month, almost a month. Uh, now, of course, they've credited, you know, the money. They've sent it back and I've got an authorization for the money arriving in my account. Oh, I can't be bothered to send this back. I really cannot. So I'm going to have a look, see what it's like inside. I don't know what the condition is going to be uh, because it's gone around the Europe in one of these envelopes. So it was damaged when I sent it. So I have no idea what quality it's in now. Let's have a look. So it's all got customs forms and everything in there that I printed out. What a waste. Okay, so yes, it has come back. Uh, well, it's actually... Yeah, it's got an extra dent on it. It's got an extra dent on it. It's the Shawshank Redemption Steelbook. The Blu-ray Steelbook. Really nice Steelbook. Um, that's the dent that was already on it. So that's why I sent it back. Uh, but uh, it's come back with a bit of a dent up the top there. Oh, actually, that could have been the original dent on the top there. And that's the one that it's got in transit. I really don't know. Shut up, fly. Yeah, so um, it's a nice steel book. It's a shame it's damaged because uh, it's got a nice picture in there. Is it Reed to, ha Reed to Hayworth, isn't it? Plus a disc and art inside artwork. But I've got two of these now. I mean, if if no one is bothered about the damage, yeah, I mean, nice artwork, beautiful, glossy, really nice artwork on the back there. Really nice spine. <sighs> Who wants it? I mean, if anybody wants this steel book free of charge, I'll pop it in the post to you. UK only though, please, because I don't want to start sending this around the world again. Around the world again. If you're not bothered with that dent up the top there and that little bit at the top there, the first person uh, to message me on Instagram at bigpooly101 that wants it, it's yours. So get to it. The first person, the first message I receive can have it. And it does come with the, uh, the German J-slip as well. So it's a limited edition steel book and you have the little thingy on it as well. So, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, if you're not bothered about that little bit of damage up the top there, or if you can ding it out, then go for it. But I can't be bothered to send it all the way back again. I've already lost £8.85, I think, in postage. So I hope they've, yes, they have refunded that. No, they haven't refunded that because they haven't received it. Oh, well, I've lost £8.85, but... At least I've got the steel book and they've refunded 23 euros. So I've got money, so it doesn't matter. I just confused why it went to Slovakia instead of Germany. Um, okay, so let's get on to other bits. So we know that we haven't got the Buzz Lightyear, uh, well, the Lightyear steel book. So hopefully that will come. Uh, three pickups today in HMV. Of course, we have Shit Shark again. Man eater. She's a man eater. Yeah, I had to pick this up. I know I've got a couple of other shark movies, but I'm going to start watching these now in the evenings because they're only like 80 minutes long, 90 minutes long. So, yes, you shouldn't dress like that, love, because, you know, you're, you're just asking for a shark to get to nibble on your bits. <laughs> Surf's up. Yes. So uh, this was £7.99. It'll probably end up being £3 one day, uh, but uh, I thought I'd grab, I'd grab it now. Uh, it says, a group of friends are having a vacation of a lifetime in a seemingly island paradise when an accident leaves them being stalked by a large, deadly and unrelenting great white shark. Yeah. Man eater. Uh, what, what is the... Oh, actually, I was going to say, what is the point in putting the names on the top there? Because we wouldn't know who they are. Nicky Whalen. Oh, Jeff Fahey, or Fahey, from Lawnmower Man. Shane West. I think Shane West was in... He was, I think he was in ER, either ER or Grey's Anatomy. And he was in oh, the Sean Connery one, Extraordinary Gentleman. Uh, and Trace Adkins, who's a country singer as well. Okay, so let's just have a quick look. I mean, you're not going to get anything here, are you? You're going to get, I, I guarantee, 
You've got artwork on the disc though. You always get artwork on a DVD. Anyway, yeah, so that's Man Eater. We'll give that one a go. I'm sure that's going to be fun. Uh, the big one, of course, this week, uh, the big one is Lightyear. And like I say, I do have the steel book coming. Uh, I liked both of these artworks. The steel book I had to get because I collect Pixar steel books. And I also collect the 4Ks for the Pixar movies as well. And the artwork, which I just love the artwork on both of them. So, yes, really nice. Nice glossy slip cover as well. Fantastic. And uh, there we have a nice spine. And then we have a nice back on there. Let's peel the old label off, shall we? For £24.99. And I was a bit dodgy. I wasn't too sure on the front of it because, you know, they put those um, stickers on the front where sometimes if you peel them off, it kind of peels the outer coating of the gloss off. But thankfully that didn't happen. So, yes, there we go. So all about the film up there. We've got the special features. Uh, so the special features are on, looks like uh, it's on the Blu-ray disc, includes Lightyear, filmmaking commentary, building the world of Lightyear, the Zap Patrol, toyetic and deleted scenes. And it, uh, the audio is 7.1.4 Dolby Atmos. So that's fantastic. OK, and uh, the audio on the Blu-ray is DTS HD Master Audio 7.1. OK, so let's take it out. There we go. Same artwork. So very nice. So uh, now I'm going to imagine what are we going to get on the discs? I think it's going to be artwork on the 4K disc and blue, a blue Blu-ray. Let's have a look. A actually, no. I know Kermit unboxed this. He unboxed the Blu-ray and it was just a standard blue disc. There's the 4K disc with some lovely artwork on. And there's the Blu-ray disc with alternative artwork on. Isn't it weird? The standard Blu-ray has just got a plain blue disc, bare blue disc. Whereas the Blu-ray that's actually in the 4K has got artwork. I don't know. I don't understand the logic in that, but I'm happy. I'm not moaning it because we've got two pieces of individual artwork. So sorry you've got a boring blue disc, Kermit, but it's weird. Anyway, there is Lightyear. So I'm happy I've got that. I did enjoy the film. I will be watching it again. And uh, I really enjoyed socks. Yes, especially on my feet. <laughs> uh, the other one that I picked up, uh, which I did watch the trailer for this and really enjoyed the trailer, uh, I think it's it's kind of a down-to-earth Kingsman, in a way. <laughs> it's called The Outfitter. No, it's called, it's called The Outfit. Yes, The Outfit. Everyone has something up their sleeve. Oh, uh, starring Mark Rylance, uh, who's got uh, Zoe Duchel. Jerem, is that Johnny Flint? Dylan O'Brien uh, and a couple of other people as well. Yeah, so that's the 4K, came with a slip cover. The Blu-ray's been out for a couple of weeks in a nice black case, but I thought, let's grab the 4K. So I think I'm going to enjoy it because I did like the trailer. It looks very good. Um, this is 105 minutes. Uh, what is the audio on here? Uh, the audio is Dolby Atmos. Fantastic. Uh, do we have any special features? Uh, well, there's nothing listed on the back. There's no special features listed on the back. That's uh, very unusual for a 4K. Maybe there isn't any. Hang on, let's just peel that off. Yeah, it doesn't mention anything about special features. OK, but anyway, there is the outfit. Fantastic. Oh, I do like unwrapping freshly, freshly made movies. And then inside we have same artwork on both discs. So we have the 4K disc there and we have the Blu-ray disc. Fantastic. So there we go. So that is the outfit. That's on 4K. Brilliant. 
So they are the pickups from HMV. The other thing that I had a choice, um, I picked this up. Now, it was a choice. Uh, this is a Micro Galaxy Squadrons Series 1. So they're doing a whole load of these. Uh, and I didn't know which one to pick up because I love both ships, but I went with Razor Crest. Yes, I had to go with the Razor Crest. I'm going to stick that with my Star Wars bits. It's going to look fantastic on top of the Star Wars steelbooks. Um, I will do a separate unboxing for this. Uh, it's, it says up the top there, Launch Edition. As you can see there, we get a couple of figures there as well. We get... Oh yeah, we get uh, Din Djarin, so we get the Mandalorian, uh, we get uh, Grief Karga, so we get Grief Karga, and we get a little Grogu, a little Grogu in his little basket, or he's in his little floating thing. That's fantastic. Yeah, so really happy with that. Um, it's like the ramp comes down. Um, what else happens? Yeah, it looks like the guns move, the cockpit opens, and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be really good. Uh, and I love the finish on that. It looks proper. It looks proper. I mean, I'm not going to... I know a lot of people spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds buying, like, statues, um, like, you know, Grogu and helmets, you know, the Mandalorian helmets and that are, like, £150 each. And that's perfectly fine, you know, if you want to buy those almost replicas. Uh, but I'm happy with something like that that costs a fraction of the price but still looks really good. Okay, and uh, there are others that are available. Um, the Light Armor Class Series 1. You've got a TIE Fighter. Uh, you've got an ATST, and you get that one. I can't remember. Does anybody know what that one is? I can't remember what that one is. Is that is that the ship from Solo? I can't remember. It doesn't say. But anyway, uh, there's also the Starfighter Class. Uh, and I think that's Obi-Wan's ship from Attack of the Clones. We get the X-Wing and the TIE, uh, TIE Fighter, uh, Vader's TIE Fighter. Uh, and then, of course, we've got on the Starship class, we get the... Um, um, I was going to call it Rogue One. <laughs> um, oh, God, I've forgotten the name of it now. Um, well, I've just been talking about it. Slave One, <laughs> Slave One. Where can I forget? What's going on? Yeah, Slave One. So I might eventually buy the Slave One as well. But I hope they do quite a few of them. Uh, I, I'd love to buy the X-Wing. But uh, they only had these two. So they had the Razor Crest and they had Slave One. But I bought that one. But I will do a separate unboxing for that one. So there we go. So they are today's pickups. So we've got the Razor Crest. We've got the Outfit. On 4K, we have Lightyear on 4K, and we have Man Eater on DVD. Yeah, I might watch that one first, actually. Uh, and of course, I had a return still book, didn't I? I had a return damage still book for Shawshank Redemption. So don't forget, if you want this, uh, the first person to send a message to my Instagram on Big Pauly 101. I'll send it to you free of charge. Just be aware that there are there is a dent or two, but uh, it's up to you. Fantastic. So there we go. Uh, oh, yeah. One last thing before we go. Um, I recently did the giveaways. Um, I think there was like four giveaways that I did. Uh, I still need to do Sonic 2, which will be probably in the next couple couple of days to a week I'll do those uh, giveaways but everything else that I've given away um, I've only shipped three items I think I've only shipped three items I've still got this left this hasn't been claimed so if you entered any of the contests please go and watch those videos please go and watch those recent giveaway announcements because you might have won one of these yeah so um, please do that because I'm only going to leave it like two weeks or so, two or three weeks. And if nobody claims any of them or maybe one or two of them, I'm just going to give them away in a quicker method. You know, probably on the Big Paulie page. Anyway, so there we go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. What did you pick up this week? What have you had delivered? Have you had your light year steelbook yet? And um, until the next video, bye bye.